<laughs> How's it going guys? My name is Righteous Nikki and welcome to this week's Tavern Bro Boss Battle Royale. I think we actually already had this Tavern Bro once before, but I don't remember it to be to have been so much fun. Uh you have nine different bosses to choose from. Uh each class represents a boss, and I don't remember every single name of every single boss, but I can tell you that for me the most OP bosses or at least the hardest to deal with are going to be the shaman with lady Naj, Najtar, Najar, Najtar, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about and the paladin with the uh, the white king, I think those are the two hardest bosses and easiest to win with as well I'm going to show you one game from each of them uh, as for the others, I mean you can win with every boss here uh, you also need some RNG but in general, I think those two are the hardest uh, to deal with. So let's see. Now I can see here a clear example of how the lady Nashchar is countering Gothic the Harvester. Now, if you don't know, Gothic Gothic has some Detra Dominions, and if you kill the Detra Dominions, they summon a ghostly spirit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's no nothing much to discuss here. Actually, current Darbro could be a bit problematic for me here because he has a lot of fat minions in his deck. So that could be a bit problematic, but I think I could zerk him down a bit. Let's see how this game is going to go though. Alright, have a South Sea deck hand. Awesome to have a one drop. Oh, you have a bro? Wow. Nice and pretty nice upgrade there. Alright. Now, the other problem I'm going to have here is actually a current Darbro has. Big mana minions and they can upgrade get upgraded to level 10 uh, to 10 mana very fast Which is going to be a very problematic for me uh, Let's just go aggressive mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, Trogzor is a uh, not that strong of a card to be honest All right, all right pretty pretty even for now uh, if I were him, I would kill the helicopter here, to be honest. Or the 3-6. Eh, I really would have liked to keep the Keeper of Wood amount, but... Oh well. Now, I have to keep in mind that uh, the Warrior, current Darren Brew, actually has a lot of bros. So I really want to be as aggressive as possible till turn 5. He's going to execute that, holy shit. Alright. Now, actually, I want to trade in this because I don't want him to have this into a level 8 upgrade. So, let's trade once here and let's see what else we're going to get. Alright, that looks a bit better. Alright, yeah, alright. You didn't get a battle cry from that, so that's pretty cool as well. Alright. I can't really play the refreshment vendor properly here, so that kind of sucks, but oh well. What's he do? Dark Iron Dwarf. Okay. And I'm going to need to trade here though. Oh, that's a bad one. Alright, so I'm going to actually reverse switch here. Trade. Freeze trade and let's see the mana here. Four and two into a four. The boys, it's better here to attack. All right. Yeah, that's pretty decent, I guess. That's not cool. Uh, that's fine by me, to be honest. Uh, I have to play the refreshment vendor. Oh, that's not cool at all uh, there, but I could get a lot of runs here Though a 6 million could be a better upgrade to a 7. Mm, that's a very uh, tough choice there. Oh boy Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, uh, I think I want to trade here Let's actually do it like this Okay, cool Oh, Gromash? Really? 
Oh boy. And I have a play here. I can go face once and freeze and hope for the best. Green patron though. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's not cool. Yo, now I'm in a situation where actually bro is going to be good for me. Only one minion is going to be alive at least, so that's nice. It's not going to be my minion. Green Patron, okay. Oh, fuck me. Alright. Oh, this isn't going very good for me. Uh, but let's see what we can make out of his final HP here. Hope the RNG is going to be on my side. Let's freeze. Guess. Yeah, that is pretty bad here. Pretty bad indeed. It's pretty likely that I'm going to lose next turn, so... Let's see. Got taunts. Yeah, that's not going to work. Well... Okay... I guess I'm kind of a counter to him. Because my minions don't die very easily. Alright, now that this might be a problematic match for me. Very problematic. Alright, I'm going to keep a white rook. Going to pick uh I'm going to keep a white knight and a white pawn. Alright. Two white pawns. Excellent. Alright, I might have might, may have a chance because I have a pretty nice curve here, and having a white rook on a curve three is also very nice. Uh the problem here is that his eggs have a lot of HP to start with, and my pawns are pretty well damage dealing tools. So, at some point he might out, uh, outvalue me here. But let's see what we can do. Let's do our best. Unguard. Corruption. Alright, that's a bit problematic there indeed. Uh, I think I'm just going to go with the white rook. Start dealing some proper damage. Actually, yeah, uh, the white rook is going to hit only once here. So I'd rather play two white pawns here to be honest. Let's do it like that. It's very important to keep your positioning very uh, good with the White King. Because you can get a lot of value from your minions if you position correctly. And I think that uh, that uh, last turn I managed to showcase that pretty well. Now, I think I'll just rush with a White, ho uh, white King here and get some top notch value to clear the board. Alright, awesome. It's good that I have control of the board here, so because he's now on a losing side, and I can have a bit more free time to uh, even further increase my winning uh, winning value on the board. Alright, Fairy Dragon and Frost of Grand. That is pretty good for me because I can just White Rook there. Uh, this actually forbids me from... The boss I can just... Play a white pawn, a white pawn here, and discover. Now uh, this is a bit more slow turn, but I do like to get a bit more, a bit more, uh, potential answers for his future plays. All right. <laughs> I'm expecting a big, big dragon now. Maybe a five-five. Uh. Corruptor. Uh, that's not bad. Can I kill the Corruptor with a pawn? No, it's going to hit for three. Uh, that's uh, that's not cool. I think I'll just kill it here too. I think I'll just trade. All right. Cool. Hungry Dragon is going to give me a minion that I can actually attack with properly. Which is going to be very nice. Uh, let's discover one horse. I really like the horse. I'm actually going to use it again. It doesn't really matter where. Yeah, I'm going to be able to clear the board once again. Nice. Mm -hmm.
I think from this point I can win him in 4 turns, so this is going to be... Uh, so next turn is going to be the first of the 4 turns. Alright. Um, let's start off with a queen. So I'm going to clear everything. Oh, he gave up. God damn it. Well guys, this is going to be everything actually from me from this tavern, bro. Uh, I know that I can maybe show you a bit more games here, but... I don't really want to be overburdening you. You can get some pleasure from playing the games yourself. I just wanted to show you some overall gameplay and thoughts about potential good classes in this bro, counters, etc, etc. Uh, but I'm not going to be going that deep into it. So this is going to be everything from me from this week's tavern, bro, guys. And thank you for watching. And until next time. Stay watch. Portal upgrade is actually on level 13, so it makes some sense. But he's going to grab the Diablo, I'm going to put, <laughs> put this big portal. <laughs> he's going to blink, and Diablo is at the core. <laughs> Beautiful, I'm going to get a lane line. See, you're going to actually toggle with a bit. I managed to get only Arthur's there, unfortunately. Is my team going to be. Uh, yeah, a hook from Stitches there. Going to be even going to be able to grab a kill on Arthur.